Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Roman to integer. So in this question, we are given a string which contains Roman numerals and we have to convert it into an integer and re return the integer value of this Roman numeral. So in this case, this corresponds to the value 3 and this is equivalent to the value 58 and this is equivalent to the value 1994. We are given the symbols and its corresponding value. So before coding it up, let us implement few examples and see how this uh, conversion is happening. We'll start off by creating a map where the key is going to be the symbol and the value is going to be the value for that symbol. For example, this denotes the value 1 and this denotes the value 1000. So we're given a string. So this is the first example. We'll start off by iterating from left to right. So the main concept here will be that we have to observe that the greatest symbol should be appearing first than the symbol with the lowest value. So if it is appearing in this order, we can directly add the values and create a result. For example, let's create a variable result. So this will be an integer variable. We'll start off by creating two pointers. I will be pointing here and J will be pointing here. We're going to check if the value at I is greater than or equal to the value at g. Since these both are equal, we can directly add that symbol's value into our result. And next iteration, we are going to increment i and this is going to be j. Again, we are going to check if the value at i is greater than or equal to value at j. Yes, they are same, so we can add. And this will conclude our loop. And finally, in the next iteration, i will be pointing here and j will be pointing here and it will go out of bounds and we can end the iteration and outside the for loop we can directly get the value of uh, i from that map and add it into our result so this will give us 3 so that is how the problem is solved again for this example we are going to iterate from left to right and the result is going to be l is equal to 50 v is equal to 5 i is equal to 1 1 1 so this is give us 58 and now this is our important case. We are going to check if the value at i is greater than or equal to value at j. Value at i is equal to 1 and value at j is equal to 10. So this is not true, right? So in this case, we are going to subtract the value of i from our result. So this will be minus 1. And in our next iteration, i will be pointing here, j will be pointing here. And we can end our loop because it is going out of bounds and we can directly add the value present at i so 10 so this will be 9 and in this case again i is pointing here j is pointing here so since 10 is greater than 50 no so we are subtracting the value at i so it will be minus 10 plus 50 because uh, 50 is greater than 1 and now again i is pointing here j is pointing here uh, value at i is equal to value at i is equal to minus 1 because value at i is 1 1 is greater than 5 is no so we we'll subtract minus 1 and then in the last iteration we directly access this value because that is our last symbol inside our given string and add it into our result because the pointers are going out of bounds we have to do a subtract check to access the value in the last position and add it into our result so each time you can directly add the last value into the result outside the for loop so that is going to give you value 44 now let's code it up now that we have seen how the process happens to convert from a roman numeral to an integer value let us code it up as i've said let us first create a map for these symbols and its corresponding values so the map the key is going to be the symbol which is a character and the value is going to be a, the value of that symbol which is an integer I'm going to name it map now we have to insert the symbols in the key place so this is a character right and its value is 1 let us do the same for all the symbols. Now 
Now that our map contains the symbols and its values, first let us convert the input string given to us into a character array so that we can access it easily from an array. Now let us declare our result variable which is an integer. I am going to name it result. Initialize it to 0. Now we need to declare the two pointers globally because like I said we need to access our last for example in this case we need to access our last symbol outside the for loop that is why we are declaring the pointers outside the for loop the first pointer is going to be i and the second pointer is going to be j now let us declare a for loop so i will be starting at 0 and j will be starting at 1 so these are the index positions and this will happen until j is less than the length of the array so cast.length because the symbols are present inside the array now right so we are accessing the index position inside the array and we are going to increment i in each iteration and also j in each iteration now we need to check if the symbol at the ith index position is greater than or equal to the symbol at the jth index position so in this case i will be pointing here and j will be pointing here to start things off so here we can't compare directly these two symbols right so how will we know if this symbol is uh, greater than this symbol so for that we need to access the value of this symbol and compare it we, and we have the values inside the map right so let us uh, access the values of that symbols from the map so map dot get of cats of i so this value of the symbol at ith index position should be greater than or equal to the value at the symbol at the jth index position. So if this is the case, we can directly add that value at ith index position inside our result. So result plus equal to map dot get the value we are adding inside the result. Cars of i. Else, which means that the value at the symbol of i is less than the value at the symbol of the symbol of j so in this case we need to subtract the value of i from our result so this for loop will run until j is less than cast dot length so until uh, j is equal to here this uh, for loop will run if j is here i will be here right and we need to access the last symbol's value that we have to do it outside the for loop and add it into our result so result will now have the values till here and now we directly access the value of this symbol and add it into our result so result plus equal to of cash of i and finally we can return the result as the output let's run the code there you have it our solution is accepted Let's submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are iterating through the uh, input string. The space complexity is also O of n because we are using a hash map to store the symbols. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.